gaming has been around since the 1960s, with the first gaming system being the Brown Box, aka the Mega Box Odyssey. The game we know today started with the Atari 2800 slash VCS. Due to the 1983 video game crash, sales on games games and console went way down and people began sick and tired of them. Then Nintendo came and picked up the pieces. Thanks to the family computer, aka the Nintendo Entertainment System, aka the NES, they brought back sales for the video game industry as a retro game game now like myself the rest of games hold up to hold up in 2021 yes and no game like Super Mario Brothers 1 and Dunk classics but time to find CRT TV good luck finding those the white zapper gun and the white con control games can be really 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 hard plus most rest games don't hold up to, to today due to bad con control dumb as heck level design and Boss fighter looking at you, death a robot. But games like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Mario World, and Final Fantasy 4 are fantastic. Also, Concert 3, The Alien Wars, and Castlevania 4, and Castlevania 5, Rondo of Blood, are fun to play, which makes them awesome. Tetris Nintendo Introduction is single handedly made the Game Boy the best selling handheld ever. The Money Grab franchise Pokemon. So more Game Boy than Metallica Black album Checkmate. It was that huge. Retro gaming brings us to a simple time of fun and enjoyment, not like Fortnite. Com companies are we releasing these old games for all the current video game console systems and PCs? Do you think retro games hold up still hold up to to today than Fortnite? This is a lot of Stevens with today's video game news.